Hello. Hi. Hi, Sophie. What's your question? Um, really, it's me and my partner are trying for a baby at the moment. Um, we're very, very, very excited. Um, however, he's panicking so much about being a good dad. It's getting to the stage where he's asking me all the time, am I going to be a good dad? Are you sure we're ready for this? And as much as I'm trying to say, yes, yes, you are, it now sounds a bit like I'm nagging him about having kids. Um, and he's sort of losing the excitement a little bit. So I'm just wondering really what I can do to help put his mind at rest. Have you, have you any idea why he's worried about being a dad? Um, I think it's more of his dad wasn't the best dad. Mm. Right, OK, OK. I can understand that completely. He has memories that he wishes he didn't have. But I would think somebody who now wants to be a good dad has got all the, the qualities that are needed. You can reassure him and tell, point out to him that, you know, when that child looks at him, he will be the most important and wonderful person in the world. And that bond will go two ways. When he looks at his child, the feelings he'll have of love towards it are just un indescribable. Now, all you can do now is reassure him, but I think he's going to be a spectacularly good dad because he's already worried about mm. it and trying to do his best. I can only reiterate that, Sophie. I think the fact that he's worried says, says it all. He really, really cares. Um, and it doesn't sound to me like you're nagging him at all, actually. Just reassuring him and constantly being there for him and saying, you know, it's just going to be fine. I don't, that doesn't sound like nagging in my book, does it? Yours? No. no. And history does not need to repeat mm. itself. That's something we should all remember. That's, well, that's that. something we should all remember. It worries me when people talk about people who've been abused may be abusive. Or it even doesn't have to be precisely. Like that. Or even a little higher up on the on the scale, or lower down on the scale, uh, is is the fact that even if you're mother or your father wasn't particularly loving, it doesn't necessarily mean to say that that's exactly what you're going to be no, like. No, I think what we do actually, interestingly, we consciously and subconsciously repeat our childhood. So sometimes we do subconsciously seek out similar environments. But if you're aware of the things that made you unhappy as a child, a lot of people will work very hard to make sure that they don't repeat mm. those mistakes. Mm. So absolutely, history doesn't have to repeat itself. Well, I, think, I don't think my mum would mind me saying that, that, that her mother was not the, the the warmest of mothers, the most giving, loving of mothers, and uh, uh, and so my mum has compensated massively, yeah. and she couldn't be, you know, she yeah. couldn't wash over us more with oh. love. So, uh, so I think it definitely doesn't have to follow suit. Like I don't that. think she'll mind you saying that. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Good luck with everything, Sophie. Good luck.